All right, so this is uh, going to review magnification cell size estimation. We did a lab on this in class. Um, if you remember, you used a ruler under the mic under the light compound microscopes to measure the field of view, um, and then using that information of the field of view for low, medium, and high power, we're able to estimate cell size. And there was a component in this lab that was extra that involved some extra calculations, and that was finding a magnification constant. Uh, because the field of view of the high power um, objective lens was so small that you weren't even able to see the millimeter lines. Um, so uh, I, you should review that. Um, this is just going to be a quick review over uh, the fundamentals of magnification and cell size estimation. So um, I'm going to draw a circle here. Let's say that this is my field of view um, for um, low power, or sorry, uh, yeah, low power. So, if my field of view, let's say, is 4,000 micrometers, um, we can use that information to estimate how long, how large, or how long a cell is um, by knowing how many cells there are that fit across that field of view. Now, before we actually, so actually, uh, let's go ahead and finish the problem here. So, let's say if I know if I know five cells um, fit across my field of view, F of view, my field of view, um, then I can estimate that the uh, the length of the cell. Is is 80 micrometers um, because five cells are going to fit across this field of view. Um, it's a pretty simple problem, um, and you can work backwards. If you know that each cell is 80 micrometers and you got five of them, then your field of view is 4,000 micrometers. So it's just an algebra problem, um, a simple division or multiplication. Now, um, a couple factors, conversion factors that you need to know. You have to know. In order to solve these problems and um, the next set of uh, drawing magnification problems, which is the next video, um, you need to know uh, these conversion factors. So you need to know that in one millimeter we have a thousand micrometers, and that in one centimeter we have ten millimeters. And you may even need to know, when we talk about the size of different components of a cell, that within one micrometer there are a thousand nanometers. So these are uh, factors that you need to commit to memory uh, if you haven't already, and you need to know how to solve this kind of problem to estimate the cell size. Um, and even using that information, being able to predict if a cell of a certain length is more likely to be a prokaryotic cell or a eukaryotic cell. Um, so that's what you need to make sure you understand uh, and know how to do. Um, a good thing that you might want to do is to look over the um, lab that you got and make any corrections that you might have uh, to anything that you got wrong and fix that for uh, um, practice in this. You're more than welcome to use microscopes as well. Uh, just let me know and you're more than welcome to pull them out and estimate the cell size of different samples.